Hey everybody, Chris Grant here with ClearTheShelf.com and we're going to be talking wholesale search for tactical arbitrage today. This will be a walkthrough. All right, let's get going here. So <clears throat> what you have is the wholesale search feature is an incredibly powerful feature. First, I want to show you exactly what you need to have here. So this file right here is the bulk example from inside of tactical arbitrage itself. These first three columns, the title, the UPC, and the ASIN are and or columns. You need the title and or the UPC and or the ASIN. You may have one of them, you may have uh, yeah, two of them, it doesn't matter, okay? But you at least have to have a title, a UPC, and or an ASIN. You must have the price column, okay? Image is helpful, and the note is helpful for you as well. And all of these things will show up inside of the view data page. Now, I want to show you the data we're going to be using today. This is a uh, form that I made, <clears throat> or a, uh, a sheet that I made. It has just ASINs, and then it has a made-up price of one penny in here that I use for finding wholesale leads. So... Uh, you'll see that I have no headers because Tactical Arbitrage will allow you to use the Smart Upload feature, which is built right in, and it will figure out the ASIN column, it will figure out the price column, uh, and so on and so forth. So let's dig into actually how to do this. You're sourcing from and selling on.com. You can, of course, change these uh, to whatever your particular marketplace is. You can choose UPC sites and products only. This is, per, this is particularly important if you have the rapid scan on uh, and if you're doing a reverse search as well, okay? Uh, I have already uploaded my million ASINs file. You just click on the upload new, you choose your file. Uh, it can look like this or very similar to this and then you click upload. Now, one of the most important part, oh, you can also start from a particular row. So if for some reason it stopped at say row 50,000 and you wanna go from 50,001 all the way to 100,000, you can do that here. The next thing is the select source or create new must be in here. You'll see that I have a test scan as my source. You can also add in another one, can be XYZ uh, scan. Uh, could be Price Master or whatever particular uh, company you might be running a wholesale search for. Next, you can enable Rapid Search. Now, if you click on this little button here, it's going to let you know that Rapid Search is designed to allow you to go through sheets very quickly. It doesn't say this here, but the number is up to 18,000 ASINs per hour. And this feature is going to temporarily disable any other searches that you might have going. So if you have a product search and a reverse search and a flips going, it's going to shut those down for a little bit. And then it's going to skip over any title matches in your wholesale list. It's going to go for UPCs and ASINs only. Now, <clears throat> the next thing is you're going to need to have some filters in here. You've got your source price adjustments. Wholesalers do run sales on occasion. So if there's a wholesale reduction on items, you can run those in here. Uh, state sales tax, you shouldn't be paying if you are buying wholesale. Uh, if you are, there's, it seems like there's something wonky going on and you should chat about that. You've got your remove filters, so your sales rank, your number of sellers, oversized products, etc., and so forth. Uh, you guys should really know how to use these. There are plenty of other videos to teach this, so I'm not going to go in depth right now as I want this to be a fast video. Uh, source title. You can remove items from source title, add words to source title, etc. You've got your costs, your prep costs, cost per pound to ship to Amazon. Profit and ROI filters are in here. Uh, you can leave these wherever you want them. I happen to have this at 30%. And then we've got other filters also show no match found results in case you might want to bring a, a product to market. And then one of my favorite features is this reverse search results for more sources. Now I'm going to use UPC stores in here. 
It's going to take the UPC from Amazon. It's going to go out and try to find those items on UPC matched sites that Tactical Arbitrage has available. And it's very possible to find products from a site that might be less expensive than you would find them from a wholesaler. Uh, it's not always the case, but it is sometimes for different reasons. Lastly, you can save this filter setup. Uh, you can name it whatever you want. I try to get very descriptive. You'll see that this filter is saved as wholesale. Really should be wholesale, 30% ROI, uh, and maybe some other things just so I know what's in there. Then you click on the search button and it starts to ramp up. It's talking to Tactical Arbitrage. Tactical Arbitrage is talking to Amazon. It will take a moment or two and then it will get started. And you see we've got products checked. We've got products added. So let's dig into the view data for just a moment and show you what you're gonna see. It looks like a lot of the other view data screens, you've got your domain, which is what you have put in. That's why we see XYZ scan. You have the title of the product. If you have that in there, you should see the product image. If you have image links in your wholesale sheet, you've got the price, uh, the adjusted price if necessary, whether it's in stock. Then we come to the Amazon title, the Amazon image, uh, category, brand, ASINs, <clears throat> got our Amazon buy box price, ROIs, number of sellers. Of course, you can dig into your tactical edge by clicking on the uh, microscope button and dig into that product a little bit deeper. And then we've got sales rank, average sales rank, average 90 days, the reviews, the rating, the last time it was updated, the quantity, and the keep a graph. Okay? So, Everything is very similar to what your other view data pages look like. Uh, you can move these around. You can manage the columns and turn things off and on any way you might want. So I'll turn domain and title off for now. You can move things around, uh, move that product image to the front, and then click save, and that's how you do that. Okay, so this is an extremely fast rundown of how the wholesale search works. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And if you would do me a huge favor and smash that like button, I would greatly appreciate you. Have a great day, guys. Thanks.